Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Jesse Nyberg here. Today I'm gonna to be making a t-shirt using Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. Kind of a quick little streetwear design, work on a little logo type beforehand, got the mood board ready, and we'll just get right into it. So if you like this video and you're new here, please make sure to subscribe, it really helps me out. And if you're coming back for the second, third, fourth, fifth, whatever time, always drop a like and a comment, it really helps out. Check out everything in the description. Let's get into it. So the company I decided is going to be called Beware. And I thought of that just because I, I kind of like the letter forms and I thought of a cool way to make a simple t-shirt. But we'll, what we'll do is create this logo type and then have it beware of dog, beware of uh, God or beware of job, like different little variations. And we can mess with color and stuff and, and get that ready to go. One thing I've been digging lately is mixing serifs with sans serifs, like in the same uh, word mark or logo mark. So I'm gonna kinda get some of the ones I've been liking lately. I think I really like, I think I like this one the most, at least for now. Let's mess with that. And what I've been liking to do is I'll change the B or not the B, but the, the first letter in the word, basically. Uh, pretty like inspired by the homie now, Harry Vincent. He does a lot of that stuff in his posters and I always thought it was really cool. What I'm like gonna do is just get these all set up and then from there, we'll kind of finalize it and figure out what we wanna do with the kerning and everything. All right, now I need to get the color set up. Yeah, let's work on that. And make this artboard a little bit smaller. And I wanna do a reverse color. All right, so let's kind of lay out the square type of image that we want to use and how we're going to place that on the shirts. First, I want to do, I think eight and a half by 11 should be fine. Let me actually check something on my, no, nah, that should be good. Let's do that. Where's my properties? 8.5 by 11. Okay, so the basic layout, which I want is a image in the middle. And we'll do that in Photoshop. Something like that, maybe even less, and a little skinnier. Or do we want it to the edge? Cool, cool. So this will just be our frame. Now what we're gonna do here is ungroup this, copy it, let's go over to Photoshop. For the shirt, I'm gonna throw like, just kinda do an image type poster thing, or not poster, graphic for the inside of the shirt. But I need it, I'm gonna be using the trusty Duran Studio shirt. First one, this is the dog. We're gonna actually have to create the other versions too. I probably shouldn't have expanded it quite yet. Yeah, let's do that now. So the ones I was thinking was dog, job, and uh, yeah, God. Dog, God, job. Pretty angsty, but I think it's cool and I wanted to keep the, since this is obviously a made up thing, 
I wanted to keep the convention of three letters. Probably get harder if I had to work around whatever copy that was dealing with, but. This one, I found this one that was pretty cool. That I think we'll use. Gotta be able to fit it though, so I might have to mask some of this out. We could do a content aware fill maybe. Cool. There's that. Now we gotta figure out these hex codes. That's gonna be the thing for the gradient map. So we got the orange first, I think. Hmm. I think the green might work for the dog, but let's do the let's try the orange. Where is it? Yeah, that's dope. All right, and then what was I gonna do with the square? I need to figure out how I want the entire thing to frame. I think the background would need to be colored. Or it could work like this. Or maybe we just have a stroke around the outside. All right, cool. Now, let's just save that. And let's get over into this. Yeah. It's pretty dope. Might need to mess with the placement on this, move it up a little bit. Dope, all right, let's drop the front in. I think I just wanna do a logo type on the front. So let's grab our orange. Yeah. Come on, load up. Where did I put it? Oh, I need it right there. Dope, yeah, I don't want the cracks on this front part though. Cool. First one down. All right, let's work on this one. For this one, I pulled this crazy image from the Met Gala or Met Gallery thing. Super cool online resource, actually. Um, I'll show you guys that right now. It's this one, the Met Collection, and it has a bunch of open source free paintings and all kinds of stuff that you can download and, and pretty much use for whatever. It's all copyright free. It's really cool. Breaks it down by categories and whatnot. This one I'm gonna keep like this and we're gonna use the green. Hell yeah, that's dope. Really like the green. Let's just get that one saved out. I mean, how much adjustments there, if you ask me.
All right, got those ones all saved out. Don't want to bore you with the exporting of PNGs and JPEGs and all that. Now let's move on to our last one, which is going to be the job. And my idea for that one was kind of using like a dead end job type imagery or like an old just cubicle thing. And we'll see how it looks, but I think it'll turn out pretty cool, especially with that yellow. So the, it's down to this one, I believe. That's what I wanted to go with at the end. I did like this one because it had like individuals, but I'm not sure yet. Let's try them both. And I mean, the reason I just wanted to do this like super easy video too is to show that you can make some pretty cool stuff with just type and image and everything, even on clothing. And you have a quality mock up, can show you exactly how it looks when it's going to be washed. Obviously, you'll need to break it out into layers or screen printing, however, you're going to do it, but it's not that hard to get into. Here's our color. Gradient map. Let's see. Hmm. This is kind of dope. I mean, I don't think I can pass up that one. Whoa. No. Grab that slider. I have to change up that. Bring this image up a bit. So there's a white edge. Let's see if that works. Yeah, there we go. Nice. I like that. Cool. Save that one out. All right, everybody, that's pretty much it. We got our logo down, cheeky little B logo type and a little logo mark symbol and everything. Then we got our idea for the imagery, threw it into Photoshop, came out with these three cool um, t-shirt designs. We have beware of dog, beware of job and beware of God. And I really think that they're a little on the angsty side, but pretty cool nonetheless and like, I'm really excited to use uh, to like just make stuff like this each time and shout out again to Duran for the mock-ups really cool just cop this faded shirt one recently go check them out uh, not an ad or anything just super quality stuff and uh, hope you had a lot of fun watching along this one I appreciate you guys each time if you really enjoyed it check out the patreon for further support and check out the discord community to chat with me and a bunch of other creatives and as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.